Please welcome Mila Kunis. Mila got a very warm reception from the audience inside the Brooklyn Academy Music's Opera House for Jimmy Kimmel Live, which was on location for the week. First of all, this is very cool. So I just want to say thank fun, you right? for letting me do it. But it all went quickly downhill. You seem like you could be a New Yorker, but you're not a New Yorker, right? No, I'm not. You're not. I was, what? <laughs> <laughs> Someone booed you. Well, What's it's wrong with your audience? Well, very New, New York of you. I mean, very New York. York. That was only one boo. And we know boos are contagious. So when Mila told the story of first coming to the United States from Ukraine and experiencing American cuisine for the first time with a burger and a Coca-Cola, Kimmel had a follow-up question. Did you have yeah. pizza for the first time here in New York? Are you ready? No. I know. I'm boy, this audience is something. Um. Mila didn't have pizza until her family settled in Los Angeles. The rumblings started again. That's mean. LA has perfectly fine pizzas, guys. It's a. What pizza place? Well, now you. Mila had enough of this treatment. Earlier, she'd revealed that her stylist had not sent undergarments for her to wear on the show. Why I wasn't wearing those garments either is a whole other story. <laughs> so the makeshift substitutes that Mila and Kimmel's staff had come up with had proven to not be worth it given the booze. Well, Hold on, you know what? Now? <laughs> you know, I am wearing children's underwear for you. Okay. That got the audience on her side. This is so weird. <laughs> But not for long. I hate pizza. You hate pizza? I know. Guys, like, boo, boo. I got it. I said it. What? I'm out of here. <laughs> she came back and eventually promoted her Netflix movie, Luckiest Girl Live. And clearly audiences actually like her because it's the number one movie on Netflix right now. And even though this Kimmel appearance happened over a week ago, it's trending on Twitter as we speak. As BuzzFeed says, Mila handled the booze perfectly. Do you agree? It's pretty freaking awesome.